What is going on ladies and gents, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you a fantastic video today. In today's video we are playing Lord of the Rings Rise to War and we are talking about Maltuk versus Sharku, okay? In this video I have two almost identically geared, identically leveled, very similarly built commanders. I've got Sharku who's respect level 13, commander level 39. Maltuk who's respect level 12, commander level 39. They both have almost identical gear on, so this is going to be really a pure test of which one is better, okay? Uh, Build-wise, first things first, let me send this attack out. Because I don't <laughs> I don't have enough wargs to fill two marches, so I'm going to kill this uh, this one march here while we talk about Maltuk's build. And then I'm going to, as I switch troops in, talk about Sharku, okay? So, Maltuk's current build that I'm running is going to be very centric on his respect level 5 warg trainer, which is also what Sharku's focused on, since I'm using pure warg units. That's 30% warg damage. Uh, on round 5, it's a 160% heal nuke, which is actually pretty small. Um, and then we have beast taming, which gives me 40 defense. In addition, I've combined that uh, I've gone for max damage to my wargs. So with the interrogator title here, uh, the enemies that get stunned by Restrain are going to get plus 100% damage received for that round, okay? So for the rounds that Restrain is active, you're going to see uh, Maltuk here dealing enormous damage, okay? All right, so here is the first report. I'm going to share this with Bad Luck because I'm sure he'd like to see it. Shout out to Bad Luck, and let's take a look. So this was a 230 tile hitting with a level 39 commander with good gear. You can see here overall soldier damage was quite substantial. Damage received, uh, right, okay, very good. Let's take a look at what that report actually looks like. But first, let me call this guy back so I can uh, I can do the warg uh, swaparoo here. So we're going to do the warg swaparoo. I'm going to drop those down. Now I have return those back to the settlement, and I'm going to go ahead and heal the wargs here and send them out to Sharku. Yeah, I didn't have enough raiders for this particular, uh, this particular event, unfortunately. Okay, we're running low on speed ups, guys. That's okay. All right, we're gonna max out Sharku and then go through that report. All right, get excited. Sharku's gonna be maxed out in uh, one minute and thirty-one seconds. So we have a minute and thirty-one seconds to kill. Let's do it. Going through this report, we actually have two reports to look at. So in the first report, uh, okay, you can see here clearly the plus thirty damage, the nice defense, very very nice. Raider is going to punch them in the face here. It looks like my uh, Shroud did not save my Raider, unfortunately. Okay. Raider attacks the Bow Knight for 22,139 damage. Relatively decent damage there. Okay, uh, let's take a look at round two. I Another 21,000 damage in round two. And here we go. Here's Interrogator. Increasing the damage they receive by plus 162.7% for one round. Okay. After they're stunned. So they're going to get stunned next round. Interestingly enough. In round four, here comes the stun. Bow Knight and Sentinels. Okay. The Raider attacked the Bow Knight for 45,444 damage. Absolutely beautiful damage there. That's plus 165% damage plus the 30% warg damage bonus for a total of almost 200% plus damage for round uh, for this round four, okay? And we should, uh, if the round was long enough, see that triggered again going into round eight. Oh, here's round eight, okay? More damage bonus in round eight, right? Is that what we have here? Oh, let's see, uh, where is the... Uh, what's done? Uh-oh, okay. Interestingly enough, in round six, the interrogator does not overlap with the stun in round seven. The next stun is in round eight. So you're only going to see the bonus. This is very disappointing. I didn't realize this. You're only going to see Maltuk's plus 200% damage bonus one time in this fight, and that's in round four. Okay? Very interesting. It's a nice nuke, but having it run once in an entire 10-round fight is not too appealing to me. So... That is the Maltuk fight. Let's go ahead and get engaged with Sharku. Here we go, ladies and gents, and we'll run through Sharku's build real quick here. Again, identical in level, uh, one respect higher, almost identical gear. Skill-wise, we are running the Beast Tamer. We're running the Defense. We're running the Heal. I'm also running uh, the Madness from Conspirator. 
uh, to Treason, which is going to give me Madness against enemy units for the first four rounds. A very strong early round CC. And then I have a little bit of Arsonist here and Arson, which is going to help me delete some of the avoidance effects from the enemy. Uh, okay, here is the Sharku attack. Oh my goodness. Anti-cavalry against cavalry. And this, this was a very not good looking report, was it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not good. Let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. There's the 30 damage. Okay. All right. Very good. I got the war healing. Great. The Raiders attacking a little bit less damage than Maltuk was dealing. There are a few fewer units. Uh, Cavaliers suffer from madness but resisted, so I took a good amount of damage from the Cavaliers even though they were maddened. Okay, there's Shark Sharku coming in for some more burn damage. There's the Raiders hitting again for 18,000 damage there. Uh, the Cavaliers were finally affected by madness in round two and did not attack. Here comes Trickery where I re-affected them with Madness, put some more burn damage on them. Uh, okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. The Cavalier resisted Madness twice now out of the three rounds. Okay, now we're going to round four, Madness again. They did not attack me, so two out of four. Uh, there's a nice heal. There's the 8800 heal nuke from Sharku right there. And here comes the next Madness coming in, I think, next round. There's Trickery, so I'm applying Madness to the enemy. It did not take effect. Uh, and really, they're dealing pretty substantial damage to me is the problem. I don't have a big enough nuke anywhere in here to really dissipate their forces. So, it looks like the jury is out, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Maltuk substantially outperformed. He almost got through a second army with only half his army left. I almost got through a second Legolas army here with only half my army left. Let's take a look at that nuke. What was that nuke in round four? Just out of curiosity. There's a round four nuke, plus 400%. It looks like I had a green leaf, which gave me minus 50% damage dealt. So really, instead of dealing 50k, I only dealt 25k. Uh, so this would have been a 50, almost a 51k nuke in this particular round four here without Legolas's uh, green leaf. So, interestingly enough, against level 230 tiles, against literally a cavalry march, uh, yeah, they take some reduced damage here, but they also deal good damage in the early round. However, uh, even with defense of only 44, uh, Sharku giving fantastic defense of 45, my raiders, which are supposed to get uh, plus percent damage against enemy mounted units, did not really outperform substantially enough the enemy's cavaliers in order to take home the win all right so jury's out love you guys long time give me the like and sub clearly maltuk is the stronger warg riding commander so uh unfortunately even with the two rounds of madness in the beginning of sharku's fight he was not able to prevail all right thanks for watching i love you guys long time Next season coming up in a few days. Get excited for that. I'm going to have insane amounts of content coming out of that, so get ready. Like and sub. Randy out.